This is a message from the government of the Maldives. Dear Mr. President, welcome to this introduction video about the Maldives. It's gonna be a great video. It's gonna be absolutely fantastic. The Maldives are a country with lots and lots of water. You will totally like it. We call it ocean. Yes, Mr. President, just like the water on your coast. We have the biggest ocean in the world, okay? It's so big that you can't swim to the other side, unless you are a fish, of course. We have lots and lots of fish. It's true. Big fish, small fish, fat fish, thin fish, black fish, green fish, yellow fish, silver fish, and even, can you believe it, orange fish. These fish are all alive, Mr. President. So not like your fish, served in a soft bun with tartar sauce and pasteurized processed American cheese, the best cheese in the world. No, our fish are real fish, like swimming alive in the sea. Isn't that great? But that's not all your great nation and we have in common. Just like America, we have immigrants, total scumbags. We don't let them sell drugs or rape our women. Instead, we completely remove them from sight and put them under water. And guess what? We let them pay for it. So great. Some important people, very important people, who know fish, they tell us we have one of the most diverse and unique marine biodiversity in the world. We have tons and tons of sharks and they are on top of the food chain. You will totally dig them. They are big, mean bullies and show no mercy. They hunt the weak and slow fish and then take them out. So only the strong ones survive, just the way you like it. Sharks are almost like humans. The bigger they are, the more escort they get. Sounds familiar? Great behavior, these sharks. They are coming in low and fast, and when they hit, bang! Absolutely deadly. They are the cruise missiles of the sea. Totally awesome. And they love raw, juicy meat. Unlike these buggers. The biggest sharks in the world. They're called whale sharks. Pussy sharks, if you ask me. Total disaster. They don't eat meat, but plankton. Can you believe it? It's ridiculous. Big is not always beautiful, Mr. President. If you ask me, a whale shark looks like an oversized sperm cell, big head, long body, just pottering along. The females have great pussies though, literally, the biggest pussies in the world. But this guy is no pussy, Mr. President. Look how them yellow chicken run when this huge manta pulls up behind him. Same effect your great B2 stealth bomber has, okay? Only difference between your B2 and our manta? The B2 is in the air and the manta on the water. And no bombs, of course. The month, I mean. You got the bald eagle. We got the eagle ray. Looks like a shrunk version of the manta. So cool. They fly formation. Not as good as your pilots, but close enough. And look at their uniform. Totally awesome design. Your foxy daughter Ivanka would also like them. They are very much into fashion with a great dot design. Like many of our fish. Here here, here, and here, everywhere. And not only dots, but also the greatest color on earth, orange. Orange, 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 almost orange, orange. And if any fish you see is not orange, it's just fake. Honest to God, Mr. President. Yes, Mr. President, you have a great, great army. We don't. So sad. But we have soldier fish. And lots of them. And they are also orange. You will totally like them. Our fish are truly the best in the world. They are. They created a great schooling system. And even better, it's for free. Our fish were probably inspired by America's great homeschooling system. But there is, can we say, an environmental touch? Some losers claim that our reefs are damaged by tsunamis, El Nino, and pollution. That's just fake. 
our reefs are the best in the world. It's true. And we totally support your ban on environmental control and we absolutely dig coal. Now sea levels will definitely rise and flood our islands. So soon you can even dive in our living room. How cool is that? As final information, Mr. President, apart from the best ocean, we also have the best sun in the world, okay? So visit us soon to catch a natural tan, if you know what I mean. Just thought of that, myself. Really, it's true. We totally understand it's going to be America first. But can we just say the Maldives second?